Easy does it. Careful. Uh, I'm kind of surprised the hospital let you go a little early. I mean, I practically begged them and tell them that I, you know, wouldn't let anything happen to you, but even so, I can't believe they listened. Maybe. <laughs> it does pay to be a pro hero. I'm not saying that's the reason, you know, I'm just saying that's probably the reason. Or at least some of the reason. I mean, they listen. That's, uh, that's kind of shocking. <laughs> Get it? Shocking? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Anyway, can you get to the couch yourself? Are you sure? It's not a- Alright. Okay, strong, independent woman. Here we come. <sighs> well, I missed having you here. I mean, I only came here about- Probably once the entire time you've been in the hospital. But it's good to be back, and it's good to have you back. Uh, so, did you need anything? Or, uh, are you alright? You seem a little s spacey. I mean, I know you're not alright, especially with what happened, I... Oh, oh, no, 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 don't, don't cry, no, 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 it's okay! Little spark, please. It's okay. Uh, I know everything happened is very traumatic for you, but it, you can do this. You can get through this. It's okay. Uh, come here. It's all right. Shh. Your electric Pikachu is here. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Uh, I know it's all very traumatic what's happening, but. I promise it will be okay. Hey, and you know, what uh, better way to make you feel better than come home and spend time with your amazing boyfriend? Yeah? <laughs> I know it's, you know, maybe not much to you, but it means a lot to me. Having you here, home, me, having you in my arms, it uh, helps me. Uh, why are you crying exactly? Huh? Uh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. You are not a bother at all. Is that why you're crying? <laughs> oh, little spark, please. It's all right. You're not a bother. I don't mind taking care of you. I mean, it's what a good boyfriend would do. A manly boyfriend, as Kirishima would say. It's okay. Don't worry. You're not a bother at all. Yes, I'm sure. I mean, we live together. I mean, it's not going to be any different. I mean, I guess a little bit, but not entirely. And besides, if I really didn't care, or, well, if I did care, <laughs> I wouldn't have begged you to come home. I was full aware of that I would have to take care of you somewhat. And do some things for you, like uh, cook you food and help you in the shower. Yes, no, you can't tell me that I'm not going to. You do need help. You can barely stand on your own. And, well, we don't have a chair in there, so I'm going to have to help you. Meaning, I'm probably going to have to help you stand and help you bathe. But it's not a problem. Unless it makes you uncomfortable, but if it does, that's fine. I, you know, we'll make it work. Anyway, are you hungry right now? I can whip up something. I mean, honestly, the the best I know how to make is, like, ramen and mac and cheese, and uh, that's pretty much it. I've been getting a little better at cooking, though. I mean, you've been teaching me some things. <laughs> I suppose I probably shouldn't try. I don't want to burn down the house on top of all this. Uh, yeah, I can whip up something. Uh, what's something... Oh, you just want ramen? Are you sure? How about this? I'll make ramen, but I'll, like, spice it up a bit. Maybe even literally. You like spicy food, right? So do I. Alright, I'll do that. Spicy ramen coming right up. And if you need anything, just holler for me, alright? Alright, babe. Are you ready for this? This is gonna be the best meal of your life. Here. I didn't know how much you wanted, so I didn't give you that much, considering you probably can't really eat that much. Or at least your appetite isn't as big as mine. 
Uh, is it good? No, oh, good. Oh, I was worried that I screwed it up. That's the last thing I would want. I wouldn't want to mess up anything. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's wouldn't make your day better. I'm trying to make it better by cooking for you, and I know it's a little hard to think of it as better ever with everything. Uh, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna bring you back to healthiness. <laughs> Uh, I'm not entirely sure where I was going with that. Anyway, are oh, you full already? Oh, you really didn't eat that much. But it's fine. There's a, a bunch of leftovers, so if you get hungry again, just tell me. Here, I'll take your bowl. No, it's fine. Give me the bowl. That's a good girl. <laughs> Don't worry. I didn't mean that in a teasing way. I was actually just being serious. <laughs> Uh, so, did you want to do anything else? Or, you know, try to? Maybe we can practice standing. So you can at least stand a little bit more on your own. That way, you can take a shower on your own. Again, I will help you, but I know you'd rather take one by yourself. So maybe we should practice that a bit. Or at least, uh, you know, <laughs> practice uh, maybe walking a bit, too, you have struggle with, especially because of your ankle. Yeah, here, take take my hands and I'll help you with standing. Alright, okay. I'm holding on to you right now, but I'm gonna let go, okay? And I'll catch you if you fall, and also you can fall back on the couch. Alright, one... Two, three. Ah, look at that! You're doing better already! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I gotcha. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, that was better than before. I mean, you could barely even stand when we first got out of the hospital, so... Uh, you're doing good already! I'm gonna do it again. Alright? Alright. One, two, three. Ah, look at that! Uh, you're getting better every time! I- I- oh, Thank God you fell on the couch. Oh. Okay, did you want to try again? Walking? I don't know if you're really quite ready to put pressure on your ankle. Well, at least that much. But I guess standing does help with it, so... Alright, here. Up you go. Okay. Um... No, oh, this is gonna sound really weird, but I'm gonna do what the, you know, what parents do with their toddlers, and I'm gonna stand on the other side of the room, and you walk towards me. And if you fall, I swear I'll catch you. I'll rush over and use my body. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let go, and you just follow me, okay? I know it hurts. Are you sure you want to do this, though? <sighs> You're very stubborn. All right, uh, I'm gonna let go a bit. That's right. Easy does it on the ankle. Oh God, yeah, that that sounded like it hurt. Did you pop it? What was that? Uh, I just popped it. I bet it felt kind of good though. <laughs> yeah, popping anything in my body makes me feel good, like my fingers especially. Uh, you want to try again? All right. This time, I'm going to go to the other side of the room, okay? All right. When you're ready, just walk towards me. Make sure you take it easy. You're getting a little less wobbly on your ankle. You're making progress. Uh, thank God. You're almost there, too. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, oh. Now, you know, that was probably the quickest I've ever ran to catch you. Well, besides when I ran to your hospital room, but that's probably the second time I've ran that quick. It may have not have seen far, but it was pretty far. I'm glad I caught you, though. I think you're done for now. I don't want you to strain your body too much. Let's get you back to the couch. Easy does it. And sit down. I'm actually really proud of you today. You made some pretty good progress. 
Unlike, uh, well, Hawks isn't even out of the hospital yet. He's still in there. He was there last time I checked. I don't know if he'll get out for a while. And, well, I don't think his wings are doing too good either. They seem to be pretty, well, fragile. His feathers are, like, shedding like hair. He said, though, that's what was to be expected of happening since, well, they were pretty much crushed. So, he said they'll grow back slowly and be normal soon, but even so, it's very worrisome. He's one of the top pro heroes, and, well, his girlfriend is, well, she's pretty devastated. I had talked to her a bit, and that poor girl... She's in a bunch of pain seeing hawks like this. I ran into her in the cafeteria to get you something to eat. That poor girl. She's very sweet, too. But I do feel bad. She's strong, and she's probably doing what I'm doing with you, helping rejuvenate. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop about hawks. He is pretty cool, though. You can't lie. He's a cool dude. Oh, yeah? Wait, really? He's your... He's your crush? Really? I thought I was your crush. I mean, I am your boyfriend, but, you know, I, I, I can be your crush, too. I guess in the end, I did get you, but even so... Come on, really? You gotta do me like that? Out of everyone, Hawks? I would've been better if you chose Bakugo. At least I know he doesn't have a chance. But Hawks is... Well, he's smooth. He's a lady talker, and... I know he has a girlfriend, but even so... Sometimes I think he flirts without knowing. Like, I'm pretty sure he flirted with me once, and he had no idea. Well, that could have been the drugs, though. He was pretty loopy, because he, well... Had had a little surgery on his wings. By surgery, I mean not really surgery, but more of alignment. I don't know. They had him under because, well... He couldn't stay still, because he's practically a child in a man's body. I guess I'm not the one to talk, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not jealous. I I guess I can see it, though. I don't blame you. He is attractive and a nice dude. I mean, to be honest, I would have let you meet him, too, if you weren't in the condition you are. Perhaps... Maybe you can meet him another time. I've worked with him a couple times, too. But he's pretty nice. Honestly, he goes on and on about his girlfriend, though, which, not gonna lie, I do, too. But, you know, <laughs> it's interesting hearing it from someone else. Well, of course I talk about you. Half the hero agency knows about you. I talked about you all the time to Bakugo. And, well, he shares his fair share about his, you know, lady friend. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I would necessarily call it, uh, bragging. I'm not bragging, per se, you know. I'm just saying it how it is. I like to talk about you, and I like to tell people that I am with the most amazing girl in the whole world. And, well, I would hope you'd talk about me. No! Oh, come on, don't do me like that. That's so mean. What do you mean you don't talk about me? Well, you know... <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't care if you don't. But I hope people know, at least. Oh, well, you know, as long as, you know, your friends know, I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh... You seem pretty tired. I guess it's been a long day for you. We can go to bed early. Or at least lay down in bed. Yeah, not a problem. Here. Uh, up you go. No, it's fine. I can hold you. Off to the bedroom. Zoom. What? I thought it would be funny to make an airplane sound. Because I'm like, you know, carrying you and... Never mind. Uh, here you go. You can get yourself settled in. I think I'm gonna change. Uh, let's see. Huh? 
Oh, in just my boxers, huh? Well, you know what? A lady gets what a lady wants. Bam! Stripped down to nothing, but, well, my boxers, of course, but, you know. <laughs> you like the view? You're getting a little shy there. You know, it ain't the first time you've seen me like this before, right? I mean, I guess I do usually wear a shirt, but... I mean, it's not that big of a shocker. I mean, we, we did shower together and, well, that was pretty fun. Uh, thankfully, we didn't fall. Uh, like I said, not gonna happen. Also, I'm thankful that my quirk wasn't activating because sometimes when I kiss you, um, sparks come out of my body. Just a little bit, though. You don't really notice them, but a little bit, some sparks come out. It means I'm happy, I guess. I don't really know. It's the first time it's happened before. Uh, sorry to make you blush, but, you know, I'm just saying it's true. <laughs> Every time I kiss you, a spark comes out. I'm kind of surprised you don't feel it, because I think sometimes it comes from my lips, even. Oh, you do? And you don't mind, huh? Well, that's something new. Uh, you know, we could work with that. Uh, hey, I didn't mean it in that way. You're the one who took it in that way. I'm just saying it's convenient so I don't have to worry about shocking you ever. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm serious. I don't know what the hell you were thinking. No, I wasn't thinking anything like that. Not in a way. No way in hell. <laughs> Alright, move over. Well, this is my side of the bed and you know that. Uh, fine. Just because you're not feeling well, I'll go over here. It's kind of weird, though. This is very strange. Ah, whatever. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna cuddle you. I mean, well, first of all, we do every night, but especially now. You need it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I like my cuddles, too, but it's special when it comes to you. I, I like to give them more than receive. I mean, I love to receive them, but I like to give them more to you. I know I am just a gentleman, aren't I? <laughs> Uh, if you're really that tired, it's okay. You can go to sleep. I'll just sit here and, uh, stroke your head and maybe doze off myself. Or I'll go on TikTok. Either way. No, I won't create a TikTok. I'll just watch some TikToks. I'm not gonna take a video of you. You know, as much as people would like that, I'm not gonna do that. That's a little too much. <laughs> I mean, I am pretty TikTok famous, but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> yes, I'll stay here. Don't worry. I promise. Okay, now, uh, get some rest, okay? My little spark. 